okay guys, so not exactly how I would have thought that I would be spending my birthday today, but uh, I'm stuck in, uh, in an accident traffic, which is, you know, hey, I hope, I hope the people uh, up front are okay. But we're basically just stopped here. Uh, I'm assuming it's probably going to be a while before we get moving. I'm hoping that I can get home before my birthday's over, maybe I can go have dinner or something, but uh, I guess while I'm waiting here, um, while I go home, home for my first uh, home time since I've been out, uh, I guess I just kind of talk to y'all about how everything's been for me over these past uh, two weeks. Uh, it's been interesting, I will say. Being out here is like nothing I've ever done before in my entire life. Um, I've only ever traveled uh, outside of the state of Texas on occasion, maybe to go to Disney World or to go to Louisiana, which is right next to Texas. And, now, but I never really gone anywhere else and um, usually pretty stationary in all the other jobs that I've ever had and when I got the urge to do something a little bit more that could give me a little bit more what I was looking for truck driving was one of the things that I had highly considered and so I did it and uh, after doing this for two weeks I can say that you know so far everything's been good I mean I I enjoy being out here I'll tell you that even if I'm stuck in traffic like I am now I still enjoy this so very much and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be able to do this. I called a lot of companies when I was looking to get into this and a lot of them they didn't seem like they were very they just seemed like they wanted a number they wanted a they wanted a body and they didn't want a person they didn't want a soul they didn't want a mind they wanted just somebody to sit in a truck and go and so for a lot of those companies, when I talked to them and I talked to their recruiters, I was just kind of turned off by that. And I was like, man, this kind of sucks because I was kind of hoping that maybe somebody would would sell this to me. Because, I mean, it's an experience. Being out here and being a truck driver, it's an experience like no other. Other than maybe being like a, like a, like a, a pilot, um, something like that. So you get to travel across the nation. You get to... Uh, sit in your truck and drive and listen to music and podcast and all that fun stuff and you get paid to do it but like I said I mean then I called CFI and everything changed when I called CFI CFI sold me on wanting to work for them and be a truck driver with them and so far over these two weeks I have nothing but love for them so far a lot of people talk a lot of smack about them that that work for the company and granted i got off to a little bit of a rocky start you know with the whole uh truck thing and whatnot i think i was just a little frustrated because i wanted to get rolling but everything has been good and they treat they treat me so well my fleet manager even though uh you know she, she's worked really really hard to get me home today for my birthday and uh and I told her, you know, there's a weather situation going on in Texas. You know, that's the reason why there's probably an accident that just happened. And, you know, the roads are really icy. So I have to slow down. I can't go as as fast as I would like to go. So it's going to be a little bit, uh, it's going to get there a little bit late. I'm not going to be able to get, I'm going to miss out on my birth, on most of my birthday. And so I asked, I said, is there, is it possible to extend my leave by one day? Just so I can get the day back, you know, be home for a little bit, kind of relax. And she said, you said, oh, absolutely. She said, on top of that, I'm not even going to count any of your days off against you. Because typically, when you're OTR, you got to build up days off. So you spend a lot of, you spend days on the road so you can accumulate days off. You don't get paid days off until after you've gone through your probation periods and whatnot. But uh, you get, but you have to accumulate this home time. So you have to be on the road for X amount of time to accumulate days to be able to go home and take off. So I was, I already got accumulated um, about a week's worth of days. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna take like four days for my birthday weekend just to kind of chill out at home, celebrate with my family and friends and whatnot. Um, and I was already you know, prepared to use those days. And she just told me, I'm not even gonna count those days against you, enjoy your birthday. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. And. Uh, it's pretty cool, man. I, I tell you that. Uh, I worked really hard for this. I put myself through a lot over these past couple of years. 
And there were times where I sat there and I thought, and uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to dig myself out of, of predicaments and whatnot that I was going through at the time. And uh, I felt just so stagnant about so many different things. And uh, uh, it was really difficult to make the choice to leave everything behind really. You know, my family and everything will always be at home, but it was really hard for me to decide that I needed to go and do something like this to give me the fulfillment and the opportunity that I was looking for to do something great, to do something spectacular. And that's what I'm doing right now. That's what I feel like after two weeks of doing this, I don't know if I want to be doing anything else. Is this job easy? Hell no. But is it better than sitting in an office and looking at a computer all day long and, and having fluorescent lights just suck your soul out all day long? I say yes. For me, I feel like that's I feel like that's it. At the end of the day, I can drive this thing wherever I wherever I need to go. I can look at beautiful scenery. I'm gonna get stuck in traffic sometimes. That's fine. But hey, it is what it is. And then at the end of the day, I go back over here to my room and it's I, I play my video games. I watch movies. I work out, and then I can sleep in my bed that I've made nice and comfortable for myself. I just every, everything's good. It's like I'm living in a I'm living in a mobile home, and I get to go anywhere I want to go. Get, awesome pictures and awesome video footage uh, I just I hate to get emotional I really do you know I'm just turning 35 you know that's kind of crazy to think about it in itself but so many good things are happening in my life and, and it's all because I, I took I took myself out of a box. I took myself out of a box that unfortunately I put myself in. And I gotta tell you guys, if there's one thing you gotta do for yourself, you gotta look at the box you're in now. And you gotta ask yourself if you're okay living in that box. And if you're not, step out. Step out of the box. Work outside of it. Because the world opens up a whole entire new everything for you once you step outside that box i mean god i mean damn man it has been the most amazing experience of my entire life and i'm only two weeks in am i gonna say that i still love doing this a year later that remains to be seen maybe i don't like it after a year but i will say after two weeks of doing this and just and just being a rookie and that's that i don't i don't i don't know how to back up a truck very well i'm still working on it uh, you know, I'm still trying to maneuver different weather conditions and driving in them and uh, timing timing uh, deliveries and timing uh, travel and working on my hours of service and stuff and making sure that I'm good and things like that. Those are all things I'm still working on. So what happens after a year or two from now after I've mastered those things? And I'm going to say that I'm mastering them because that's how much confidence I have in myself that I'm going to keep working hard at this to be a master at this. I, I like to, I tell a lot of people, I'm a, I'm a jack of all, I, like, what is it, what is it, uh, I forget what the saying is, but it's like a, a jack of all trades, a master of none, or something like that, that's basically me, like, I do a lot of different things, but I have never mastered anything in my life, I really have not, I always get into something, and then I just kind of, like, I get to, a, I plateau at a point, and then I just kind of, I don't know, I don't master it, and I feel like it's something it takes a lot for you to want to go out and master something and be the best that you can at something. Granted, I always have worked very hard and I've always put in a lot of hard work and sometimes that hard work isn't recognized and that's, you know, it is what it is. But for me, I put in a lot of hard work but I never really took one thing and said, I'm gonna master this one thing. That's gonna be my thing. This is gonna be the one thing that I can say, I am a master at this. And I've never done that before. So this is gonna be it. I'm gonna master the trucking industry. I'm gonna master being a truck driver. What does that mean? 
hey, it remains to be seen. I could be the best company driver I've ever been for 50, for 30 years. Maybe that's how I master this. Maybe I buy my own truck. Maybe I, I open up my own authority. Maybe I end up at a point where people are driving for me and I'm not even driving. Maybe that's how I master this industry. But I am going to work hard every single day that I'm in this truck. And I am going to get better at everything. And I'm going to master this because that's how much belief I have in myself. And uh, I appreciate you guys for watching these videos and riding along with me and whatnot. It, it really does help. Um, so, I mean, if you like what you what you see, feel free to like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, if you ever have any questions, like I've always said in all the other videos, feel free to uh, leave, them in the, leave them in the comments and I will answer your videos. I will not hesitate to talk to you. I love talking to people in general. Granted, I don't like everybody in the world. I don't think anybody does, but uh, if, if you come off as genuine, I will gladly have a conversation with you about my experiences so far, and whether or not you wanna try this for yourself or not. Maybe you're looking to get into this. Um, I know for a lot of people, pay is a big question when it comes to this. And I'm just gonna let you know that uh, I'm gonna, I'll do a little bit more of an elaborate video of how the pay scale works when you're starting off just to kind of give you an idea but I want to do kind of like a cliff notes thing here for you at the end of this video so I will tell you this when you start off you got to think about it as starting off a, any job any job you go and you start off uh, without ex without without a resume in it right like you go into a place where you have absolutely no experience in what you're doing so you go into it thinking uh, you can't go into it thinking Oh, I went to the I went to the school. I went through training. I'm gonna get paid a shit ton of money. You can't think about it that way. That's not how this works. It works like any other job that you've never gone into, never had any experience. You're gonna get started at whatever the starting pay is, and it's not gonna be a lot. Now, let me rephrase that just to make sure you understand. It can be substantial enough to provide for yourself and potentially for your family, depending on the situation that you're in. So it all, it's all kind of dependent on it. If you're a person that likes to live in high luxury, you eventually could get there working, working this, working, starting, uh, starting off in trucking, but you're not going to get there right away. Right now, what, for me, what I'm concentrating on is I, I like, don't get me wrong, the money's, the money's good enough for me, but I'm a single man with no kids and no wife or nothing. So I just gotta, I just gotta provide for myself, really. So it's not, it's not hard. So what I'm making doing this is not, it's not bad. I, I, I like it, so it's more than what I was making before in my, in my last job. And it works for me. It's enough to pay my bills and have a little bit of extra money on the side and start kind of stockpiling it a bit. But for other people it might not be just based on the situations. So how do you make, a, how do you make enough money to provide for yourself in this industry at the beginning? Well, time, that's what it is. If I had to say any, if I had to say the one thing that I would work on, if you're thinking about getting into this, uh, getting into this industry, and you're worried about how much money am I going to make, am I going to make enough to provide for myself, I would work on time, making sure that you're good at figuring out what times it takes you from get to get to point from point A to point B and C and D or whatever, and that you can make time work for you. If you cannot figure out if you're always late to things and like you know you're always running late to your current job right now or you're running late to appointments all the time or you're running late to just anything you're a person that likes to teeter on that line of, of getting there right when you know the time that you're supposed to be there is if you're that kind of a person it's gonna be very very hard for you to make money at the beginning of this industry because everything is everything is based on time if you can get to your to your deliveries on time, you're gonna get another one. If you don't get to your deliveries on time, your loads are gonna are gonna spread out, and you're only gonna be able to do like maybe two two to three loads a week when you're OTR, and that's just, that's not where the money is at. The money is at working on your time, but you but in order to work on your time, you gotta work on the whole craft too. You gotta work on learning how to drive the truck, learning how to back it up in a, in a certain amount of time. Uh, making your pre-trips, although your pre-trips should be thoroughly done, they should making sure your pre-trips don't take you an hour to do because then you're just burning your time, 
right? Making sure you're still doing your pre-trips correctly, but learning how to do them more efficiently. Learning how to do everything efficiently. Make time efficiency is the key to making uh, a decent amount of money in this industry. And if you can't figure that out, and you're not good at that to begin with, it's, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's gonna be hard for you to make money at the beginning. Like you're gonna struggle to make money at the beginning. And uh, you're just gonna have to fight through it or you're gonna have to work on it. So what I'm gonna do for everybody, because I'm in a really, it's my birthday, uh, I'm in a kind of a subpar mood for being stuck in traffic, but I'm in a good mood too, it's my birthday, right? So I'm gonna do a video soon about the rookie pay scale based on how it's gone for me over this first month of training and, uh, and then being solo OTR. And then I'm gonna do a video on, uh, on uh, hours of service and trip planning. Because I feel like just in these two weeks, I've gotten pretty damn good at trip planning. Like I usually get to the places that I need to go to in the right amount of time, and uh, and I'm able to work out my hours so that I can get to these places in, in decent amounts of time, and so that I can work my times out where I can figure out a place to stay that I know I'm gonna be able to park and have and be able to sleep comfortably, and not have to worry and teeter on those lines of, oh crap, where am I staying today? Oh crap, I just pulled into this random truck stop because I saw it, my hours are running out, but it's full. Where am I gonna sleep? Well, now I'm sleeping on the side of the road. You don't wanna sleep on the side of the road. I'll tell you, I've done it before, once, and you feel every single car <laughs> that comes next to you, regardless of if you're on the side of the road, you feel it and it's not comfortable. So yeah, I'm gonna do a video on how, on how, to, on how I do trip planning and hopefully it helps you uh, when you get into this. Um, do your trip planning as well so but hey thank you guys for uh, sticking around with me I'm trying to burn some time here as I'm still waiting for I guess the this uh, accident to get cleared and whatnot but I appreciate all of you for coming along this ride with me and uh, this is only this is only the beginning guys so stick around there'll be more to come I love you guys thank you